Kia ora hi, I'm Craig John, CEO and founder of Energy to Perform, international speaker, leadership performance expert, and host of the Active CEO podcast. Today we're talking about proactively scheduling your energy every day. You know, do you notice that exercise, eating good foods, freeing your mind, and recovery are less likely to happen when you don't schedule them? So place your exercise recovery, mind breaks, and eating times in your diary so you can sustain a high level of energy, productivity, and performance every day. You know, schedule the following 10 productivity behaviors before you start each week. Number one, schedule exercise first. At the start of the day, get it in so that nothing can get in the way of it no excuses can be put in place. So schedule exercise first is number one. Number two, schedule when you go to bed. You know, sleep is the most important aspect when it comes to performance. It can have a major effect on your intelligence, on your mood, on the way you think. So make sure you schedule when you go to bed. Number three, schedule your digital sunrise and sunset. So that is the time of day that digital devices can be used and notifications come on and then when they switch off at the end of the day you know you especially need to switch off digital devices because the blue light that's emitted from them affects your sleep pattern as otherwise and also you need to just give you a chance for your brain to just free itself and relax you know the next one is number four schedule meals every day so when is your breakfast when is your lunch when is your dinner um, if you're doing a lot of exercise and burning lots of calories, then you might want to also schedule in a morning and an afternoon snack. But for most people, they only need three meals a day. Number five, schedule your family. They have the most forgotten thing in most people's lives. They're always going to be there. So never use that you're too busy at work for your family. So let's schedule some family time in. Number six, let's schedule personal and professional development. The only way to get better is to grow, is to learn, is to take on something new. So make sure you're scheduling in when you're going to work on yourself, both as a person and in your profession. Number seven, schedule breaks around blocks of work based on a three to one work to rest ratio. So three to one work to rest ratio. And there's lots of evidence out there that that is the most effective way to hold a high level of performance and productivity. So maybe to start with, so you can determine what, how long you can hold high levels of productivity and performance, is to start out with 45 minutes of work, you know, focusing on a single task where possible, and then have 15 minutes break. So three to one, 45 minutes to 15 minutes. And then once you get used to that, you might be able to go a little bit longer or you might need to go a little bit shorter to be most effective. Now, number eight, we need to schedule emails and social media. What times a day are you going to read, consume and respond to emails and social media? Because if you just leave it to chance, you'll spend so much time on it, so much wasted time. And remember, you generally only get emails back if you send emails out. So try and chunk those times. So you might schedule emails for only nine o'clock in the morning and then four o'clock in the afternoon. And people will, will understand that if it's really urgent, they'll give you a phone call. And you need to do the same with chunking your time for social media. Otherwise you become really unproductive throughout your day. Now, number Nine is to schedule when you free your mind. How are you going to switch off? Some people that's meditation. Some people it's listening to music. Others it's going for a walk in nature. For me, I like active meditation. I like going out for a ride or a run or a swim or going to the gym. That active meditation, that repetitive nature of exercise allows me to free my mind really easily. And then you need to schedule time to review what you've done. Reflect on what work you've done or how well you're performing. 
and then reward yourself. So many people forget to reward themselves. You've got to be kind. You've got to review, reflect, and reward yourself. Really powerful there. 10 productivity behaviors that you can do before the start of each week. Now, if you want to know more about those or want some help around developing out your behaviors each week, then feel, please feel free to contact me at craig at nrg, the number two, perform.com or look on our website, www.nrg, the number two, perform.com. This is the Active CEO, where the ordinary don't belong. Mm-hmm.